looks good. Um, so, we are back uh, with the old store update as normal. So you can see, uh, sales last 31 days, £52.45. We are going up. Uh, I'm pretty sure this predicted seller level, maybe the last time it wasn't there, or the time before it wasn't there, uh, to, stay, to say above standard. I'm pretty sure that was just blank the other time or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, now I actually did sell two items. They're not showing up here because I've already like marked them as dispatched, which is pretty cool today. Uh, I've got a message from someone, so I might go in there and have a look at that. Uh, got my active items to look at, as we normally do. Uh, and then, obviously, I will show you the sales here. So we've got this Lego set here, DC Comics. This was one of the items. Obviously, you will have seen this in past videos uh, when I've obviously gone through my active items. This, I, I think basically about seven, six or seven of the auctions ended and two of them sold. So it was okay. I mean, what what is it, about a 33% sell-through rate on the auctions? But not like huge, not brilliant. As I mentioned in past videos, in fact, maybe two or three videos now, my views are pretty low on some of the items and stuff. So... I'm trying to work through that. I'm trying to figure out why that might be. I'm also actually putting some items over to buy it now instead of auction and seeing possibly over the 30 days if that helps views a little bit more than just having the seven days on auction. But yeah, you can see here it only got two bids, which is a bit annoying. Uh, $4.99 there plus my postage. And then also this one here, again, which I've shared on other videos when we were looking at the active items. This actually sold for the 29 quid. I was kind of hoping that it might go up a touch more, maybe close to that £35. But to be honest, I was really happy with £29. It was just because um, at first it had gone up to £29 pretty quickly. I thought, blooming hell, that might go up a bit further. But yeah, £29, I was still really, really happy with that. 11 bids on that one. So there's a little bit more interest there and then usual postage. Um, but yeah, that was really, really cool anyway to have those two. They were just things that I had had in my lockup for ages at this point and I wanted rid of them. Them. Most of the Lego sets I got, basically I bought um, bundles, so I bought, you know, 10 sets or 15 sets in one go and then sold some of them off and then because of the margin on them, I basically made profit on the entire lot and then obviously just selling these off at the end now, um, just get a bit of money in really, so yeah, that was really, really nice uh, to get those sales in, but as I say, unfortunately there's few of the auctions just didn't really perform that well so I am I have in fact when you go into my active items now you might see a few more on buy it now I'm not sure can see when was the last update was it about three two or three days ago or something um and I don't know how many I had on buy it now at that time but I think I've transferred a couple more over to buy it now since then so we'll see I mean it is still my intention to do some auctions but it seemed from the first few rounds of auctions, I don't think it was really the stuff I was putting on. Possibly, I mean, I can't. I, I find it hard to believe that it's my titling or anything like that. Um, if if anything, it's to do with my item specifics, which I did update on a few of them. But yeah, it might be a case of just looking here and there to put things on auction, not necessarily um, putting everything on auction. You know, trying things on buy it now for thirty days. Because if I try things on buy it now for 30 days, I'm getting a larger time scale and then obviously more views and stuff can come in. So we'll see anyway. Uh, but yeah, so I got a uh, message from a uh, member. I think, to be honest, all that message is saying is uh, one of the guys who bought one of the items is saying, you know, obviously, please pack the item. Well, because I got a note, you know, when you get a little buyer's note on one of the purchases, I got a note from uh, the buyer saying, can you please pack it well? And I was like, oh, for God's sake, I've been doing this years. Why wouldn't I pack it, package it well? And I was getting, you know, like a little bit annoyed from it. But then I realised, oh, yeah, but I'm on my new store. And my new store doesn't have any feedback. Or it has like four feedback. So obviously to that buyer, they're thinking that I'm completely new to this. So then I thought, oh, right, okay, I get it now. Um, so, yeah, anyway, uh, we'll go in and have a look at the active items. I'm pretty firm that that, uh, that message is just that guy just saying that. So uh, we're going to the active items here. So you can see we're on the active items. There's non-auctions that will sell, but as I say, I've got a few less auctions um, at the moment. And we've got £157.74 on fixed price. We've got 15 items active, possibly a couple less than last time because of those sales. I don't think, trying to think, I 
don't know whether I'll put any more on. I don't think I have since the last update. I think the last update was the last time I was doing listing. And I've not since then, the last two or three days, I haven't put any on. So, um, yeah, I've got about five or Is that it? I've only got five auctions. Yeah, I've got five auctions and then quite a few buy it now. Um... On the bite now, how many? How long have these been on? About four, four days ish, just over four days for most of these. Five days on these ones, um, but not incredibly long. You can see views are fairly low. In fact, what I did do is I went onto my other store and I looked at a few of the items. Now I looked at the ones that were closest to the top, and in fact, this is possibly something I'm going to do um, for next time on the next update. Is possibly. Uh, cross-reference for my other store because I did see when I was doing a very quick look um, that a lot of the items that were near the top of the list when it, as I say it was a very quick glance um, were on like 200 views 300 views all the rest of it now it might be that it was ordered in views I'm not sure so obviously if I went further down the list I'd find loads of items that were on you know 20 views 30 views whatever but I don't know I've got to go in I've got to look at that because uh, you know, it might be that on my other store I'm getting more views and on this one I'm not. Is there possibly, I don't know, maybe someone will put this in the comments, is it possibly because it's a new store and I'm not getting it boosted out there? But I've heard quite a few people have had comments as well surrounding this that if it is a new store, they do boost you. In fact, they boost you more, but... I don't know. I don't know what eBay do, really. I've not looked into it that much because I've always just had the one store. I've not needed to look into whether they boost a new store or whether they actually push them down in the rankings or anything. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That would be interesting to kind of find out or understand a little bit more. Um, see if they actually do boost new stores or whether they actually knock them down and it's harder for them. But... I don't know. I mean, it could be something to do with that, but it just does seem, and I have, I have noted this on a few videos, that the views are, are quite low, but we'll say, I mean, there's that one there, 28 views. That's been on, uh, what, eight, no, eight days now, just just over eight days. Um, but, yeah, it does seem, these have just gone on over the last few hours, I've relisted these. Um, but, yeah, 28 views for, like, seven, eight days or eight days. So, over 30 days, if you times that by basically three you're looking, what, 75 views at the end of the 30 days, so maybe 80, 90 views. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not, like, crazy crazy good, because, as I say, I've looked on my other store, and I've had items on there that are 300 views in their kind of 30-day cycle, or even more than that, so, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it's me, maybe I'm just kind of looking into it too much, but, yeah, it does seem that they are quite low, and obviously... If you don't get the views, you don't get the watches, and then you don't get the sales, so, you know. Anyway, so that's that. That's a few of my items on. I don't know really whether I said, but these are all just the same items anyway. I've just obviously flipped them over to buy it now, or I've put some back on auction at a possibly a slightly reduced rate again, uh, just to see. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, but that's about it anyway. There's nothing really else to say about this store. A few sales, which were good. Um, and yeah, I'm going to gonna put a few more items on this store. Um, to be honest, I need to look at my back stock of my own listed stock of what I've got. Because I've, as you'll probably know on this store, I've been kind of trying to put new and sealed items on here. And I've not really got any more new and sealed items. So now I'm thinking, right. What kind of items do I want to put on here? Because I've got a lot in my unlisted backlog that is antiques. And as I mentioned, I don't really want to do antiques on this store. So I'm going to have to wade through some unlisted stuff. See if I can find some toys, games, things like that. And put those on, even if they aren't brand new and sealed. But I just don't want, I don't want to put on like loads of antiques and collectibles and stuff to this store. Because then it just turns into a carbon copy of my other store. And it was meant to be something different. It was meant to be something, um, you know, more centred possibly around toys and games. More centred around um, items that are not necessarily going to just stay on there for 6 months or 12 months on by it now. Which sometimes for antiques and collectibles they can. And, and even obviously extend out further than that if you keep them on your inventory for, for that amount of time. And no one comes along to buy them, the right buyer or whatever. So yeah, it'll be interesting anyway to see the keep the continual progress but yeah i'm pretty happy i mean 52 quid on this store i'm happy with that for a new little project obviously we're not even three weeks in as well and if you actually knew 
how little time I'm putting on this store. Uh, I mean, you probably do. You can probably tell with the fact that I don't list on there or anything. But um, considering the amount of hours I've put in this, into this store, it's, it's hardly any. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Nice little steady side little thing just for fun. It's, it basically is. It's like... Um, I don't know a kid in a candy store. It's, that's what that's what it feels like. To, so it's not it's not serious like my other store, you know, the main store. Obviously, it's just you know it's like a kid in a candy store, just trying things out, doing different things, you know, looking around the store and seeing all the different things that are available. And so it, that's what it feels like to me. But anyway, I'll leave it there because this update's getting a bit long now. We're probably over ten minutes, and I, I like to keep these updates for up to about eight minutes if I can. Um, but yes, yeah, so anyway, so I'll leave it there for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Slow down.